Just wow. Tastes good. And Gwen, you want some? You want some? Yeah. Want some? Want some? Um, nom, nom, nom. You know it's romantic dinner yeah. when you're in jammies. Um, Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I've given myself a little bit of a challenge today. I'm gonna try and do an actual romantic dinner whether it be for Valentine's Day that's up and coming or just like a little date night at home that you don't want to go crazy with a budget but still have a very good romantic nice dinner with your significant other. I'm giving myself 20 bucks for the food and I am gonna stop at the Dollar Tree and get a few other things like some candles and maybe some scatter for the table but no more than 25 bucks between decorations and the food and it will be three courses. The first place we're gonna stop is actually the dollar store because I'm gonna get meat and stuff that's gonna be cold. So we're gonna do the Dollar Tree first to look for some candles and some other little things to make it all pretty. Very cheap though. Dollar Tree always has a ton of candles and you can vary the sizes. I'm gonna go for the tall tapers. Just whatever you do, make sure you get unscented. I already have a set of these glasses, but you could even spend the extra two bucks and get a really cute pair of glasses for your table for this. We are now in Aldi. Think about your significant other. Think about if they're a meat and potatoes kind of guy like mine, or if it's more of a lady in the tramp pasta deal. You pick what you think would be great and romantic for your spouse. Doesn't even matter if it's pizza. You can get a $5 pizza and some salad and that would be perfect for somebody. Back from all the stores, this is what we got from the Dollar Tree. So these we can scatter around the plates and then those two candles to go with these two. And then I got these extra to go all the way around. So that whole thing right there is $5 for some really good decorations. Just a little sidebar. I do already have flowers, so I am gonna put flowers in the middle of my tablescape for tonight. These are literally $4 little Walmart flowers. I saw some in Aldi. So you can step this up to just like even adding four or five dollar flowers and it would be perfect. Here's what I got from Aldi. Course number one is a salad kit. So there's that part. And then for my meat and potato guy, there's steaks, which there's even one extra that we don't need and this was still only a little over six dollars. favorite potato. Mashed potatoes, the easiest way possible and the cheapest way so you don't have to buy the extra milk and butter and everything. This is just pre-done, good to go, and they are delicious. And then asparagus, which I'm literally just gonna use butter, salt, pepper, and some steak seasoning on this, and that's done. And then dessert could have been cheaper. Just chocolate covered strawberries is fantastic. And that alone right there would have been almost $2 for this and $1.50 for that. I added these because my husband likes more of a vanilla side of stuff, but chocolate strawberries are traditional. This whole thing for dinner, three course dinner and a very, very, uh, and a very romantic dinner with steak, $20.05 with tax. Once the strawberries are washed, I'm a double boiler kind of girl with chocolate, but you can easily do it in the microwave but only one thing with the double boiler is make sure that the water is not touching the bottom of your bowl and then it'll work just fine. I tend to be a bit extra. I know most people are. So you can actually make these look like hearts if you literally just cut out the top. I want a heart. And if you see them, they look kind of like a heart. You can even cut them in half at that point and make them look more like a heart and then shape them. And you could also dip those in chocolate too or just leave heart shaped strawberries. Okay. So they are little heart shapes now, if you can really see it. Then, These would have been a lot easier if I would have thought to dry them, but I was rushing. Yes, that's him, Declan. So these are actually dried. I'm gonna dip a few more like this, and then I'm gonna try dipping these in chocolate. Okay, so these were crazy messy. They were bothering me, but I found out how to make them look even prettier. Ah, and my straps and the chocolate. So hang on, just watch. I'm gonna fix one of these. I'm gonna pick it up, get in the bowl, breathe. 
Throw it in the bowl. Cover it with the chocolate. Fish it out. And beat the chocolate off. And then, over here, when you put it down. Much better. It actually holds the shape of a heart. Much better than these blobs. <laughs> Here's a good trick to use when you're working with taper candles. If you actually burn the end of them a little bit just to melt the wax and put them immediately back into the holder, they will stand straight up and they'll hold better instead of being so easily knocked over. You don't have to worry about that because they'll stick inside the candle holder. This is the finished table for us. Now, remember I said I had these previously, but if you didn't and you were sticking with just the theme from today, you could still pull that out. No flowers necessary. Move these a little more in. Put maybe a few more of these around, a little bit more of the scatter. And it's still just as beautiful and would be just as romantic with all the candles lit and the lights dimmed, but I'm not gonna do that yet. And then you can look online for proper place. You don't have to do all this. I did a salad and a normal fork, but you don't have to do all of that. Keep it as simple as you want or as elegant as you want, but you can still do it for very, very inexpensive. Also, just because it's dinner doesn't mean that it has to be at the dinner table. It is February, it is cold outside in some of the states. We're 85 here today, so it's not very cold. But you can move it outside if you've got a nice table outside. That would be very beautiful and very romantic. Or if you even have a fireplace inside, do a little picnic on the floor and even that's just beautiful. Getting started with the asparagus, you're gonna wanna trim the ends off and then you're gonna use olive oil, garlic powder, and just some pepper and then transfer them to the baking pan. Make sure you cover them completely in the oil, not too much and then season to your preference, obviously. We go a little heavy with the pepper around here, but you don't have to. And try and get them into a single layer on the pan, that way they all cook properly and there's none that get too burnt or not cooked enough. At this point, preheat your oven to 425, but as soon as they go into the oven, Turn it down to 400 and then they're going to cook for 15 minutes. Moving on to the meat, make sure to pat it dry and then you're going to just season this with some salt, some pepper, and I use steak seasoning. That's just our preference. About to put these in the pan, but as we saw in the package, it looked like it was three steaks. No, it was two, and then this three was in one pack. What, baby? Can I have something else to eat, but not dinner? In one minute. And then the package of asparagus, we have a whole nother night in here. So it was definitely less than a $20 dinner because this right here would be enough and half this package would have been enough for Valentine's Day, so there was a whole nother round of steak and this to go for a whole nother night. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter in this pan that's heating up, and then this will be where I do the steaks. Leave them in there for about three minutes on each side, depending on how done you like it. But if they're sticking, they're definitely not ready to flip yet. So just let them sit there and don't mess with them. The easy part, I'm just following the microwave directions right there. And then potatoes are done. The salad, literally I'm just gonna cut up in the bag. And there's the stuff in there that's got the toppings. Pour them in this bowl and mix it up. See, 
no stick, so then they're good to go. When you're done cooking them in the pan, make sure you let them sit and rest for like a good five or so minutes, so that way they're not all dry. The food is finished cooking, so you can either bring it over on serving platters and put it around, or you can actually serve it on the plates, and that's just what I'm gonna do is show it served. It's all served up, big giant salad, and then the potatoes, the asparagus, and the steak, since it was in weird little pieces. And Gwen, hi! Thank you. And Gwen, you're making crazy sounds, so we just need drinks and light the candles, and there's the dinner. And for anyone wondering where the kids are, she's right here, eating my mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Num. See. <laughs> okay. Dessert comes with two in there. These little cups. I'm just gonna pull the lid off, and then I'm gonna garnish them with the actual hearts and the chocolate covered strawberries. The Cheesecake Factory at home. <laughs> what is that, moose? I think so. Not entirely sure. Boop. Wow, babe. Just wow. Tastes good. And Gwenny wants some. You want some? Here. Want some? Want some? Uh, um, nom, nom, nom. So, there you have it. A very simple and cheap, very romantic dinner and setup. Uh, the asparagus and the meat were more than enough, and the potatoes actually were more than enough, so this was definitely under $20, including the candles and everything. Three course meal. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you guys. Oh, and there's Declan. He's working on the chalk covered strawberries. And on that note, have a good night. We'll see you next time.